Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Jeff. We're here to do a high taper. First, we're gonna start with a lever close, no guard, and we're gonna go ahead and create what I like to call my baseline. Now we just open the lever, we're gonna go ahead and go up with a finger up, we're gonna create a first guideline using a flicking motion for an easy blend later. Number one, lever open, go a finger up. This is how we're gonna create our second guideline, guys. We always have to use a flicking motion. This is the main key to fading. 1.5 guard lever close, go up a tiny bit, do it on an even weight. And after you're done with that, you open the lever and do the same thing, go a tiny bit up more. Number two, guard lever close, go up a tiny bit again. Just make sure you're hitting the dark areas with the corners. 0.5 guard lever close, go ahead and erase that visible middle line that I just showed you guys using the corners and the flicking motions to achieve this. Lever close, no guard, go ahead and hit the baseline. Make sure you're using the corners and the flicking motion. A lot of flicking motion on this one to blend it on a smoothly way, guys. Now with the trimmer of your preference, go ahead and remove that bottom layer of hair. After you're done removing that bottom layer of hair, you're gonna go ahead and use your shaper. Make sure you use the flicking motion when you're using the shaper. Uh, whenever you're reaching to where the baseline was. Now we're gonna proceed and start lining up the back of a taper. We're gonna keep it as natural as possible. This way the taper just lasts longer and look fire. Use the corners of your trimmer wherever you feel like the whole blade can reach. Still using a trimmer, we're gonna go ahead and create our baseline above the C cup, just a little bit above it. This is the right way to create a high taper, guys. Now we just turn that chair around and line up the back from the other side, guys. Same thing guys, go ahead and create the baseline above the C cup to create a right taper, a fire looking taper guys. So yeah, this is the only steps that we do continuously because from now on we're going to focus on one side and then jump to the other. No guard, lever open, go up a finger and this is how we're going to create our first guideline on the side of a taper. Alright guys, remember to use the flicking motion always for an easy fading. Number one guard lever open, go a finger up and this is how we're gonna create our second guideline. Make sure you're using a flicking motion like I told you for an easy blend later. 1.5 guard lever close go up a tiny bit guys because from now on we're gonna start going up fading without creating any type of lines. With that being said, just open the lever and go up a tiny bit again and make sure you're using a flicking motion because we don't want to create any type of lines, bro. Number two on, lever close, go up a tiny bit again, guys. I'm going to lift the hair up because my client want to keep letting it grow and I don't want to cut it down, you know. 0.5 lever midway and close we're gonna go ahead and erase the middle line guys make sure you're using the corners of your clipper and a flicking motion because that's it that's the whole main key to fading guys flicking motion and using the corners of your clipper no guard lever close go ahead and erase the baseline we just created like I just told y'all guys, we gotta use the corners and a lot of flicking motion guys about the lever. You see me moving the lever? Yeah, you gotta open it, close it back, you gotta play with it. You know, I'm just giving you an idea where the lever gotta be at. Yeah. 
Now I'm just gonna hit it with my shaver and I'm gonna use a lot of flicking motion whenever I'm reaching towards where my baseline was. Now I'm just gonna go over the steps on the other side quickly, no guard lever, open, create guideline. Number one guard lever, open, go another finger up, create second guideline. 1.5 guard lever, close, go up a little bit. Same guard lever, open, go up another bit. Number two guard lever, open, proceed to go up a little bit more. With your 0.5 guard lever, midway and close, go ahead and erase midline. No guard lever close, go ahead and erase baseline using a lot of flicking motion and corners. With your shaver, you're gonna shave the sides of the taper using the same flicking motion that we always do. With our number one guard lever close going down, we're gonna go ahead and hit the darkest places of her hairline. Now with the same guard opening the lever, we're going to hit the light areas of our hairline. This is for a consistent look on our hairline. Whenever we reach into the dark areas again, we're just going to close the lever and do it. Now I'm just going to put some hot spray on my hairline to have a better workspace. I'm going to put a clip on my client hair to work better, making sure that the clip ain't pulling his hair back. Now with my trimmer, I'm going to go ahead and line him up. I'm going to use my middle part as my reference point. After I set up my reference point, I'm going to start moving to the sides. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to start lining up the sides, just keeping it the most natural way possible. When are we done to one side, we go ahead and do the other using the middle as the reference point. As you can see, my client has some light areas on his hairline, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some enhancements on these light areas without putting too much spray on it because we don't wanna oversaturate the hairline. We got the same light area on the other side, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the other side too. Now we're just gonna hit the front, the other side of the front basically, and finally put some hot spray on it so the enhancements can stick to it. And yeah guys, we got to my favorite part, the part that satisfies every single barber on the planet. We're gonna use a straight razor on our eyebrows, lining, and the back of a taper, guys. Alright guys, we're almost done, we're just gonna put some product on my client hair to make it look even better. If you're wondering where you can get all these products, you can get it down on that description. And boom! This is the final result guys, this is how our high taper looks. Bam! This is the back of a taper guys. Yes sir, my client looking crispy. Ooh, the other side. Yes sir. Alright people, this video has come to its end, if you learned something with the video, if you like the video, subscribe, hit that likes button cause that helped me a lot, and with that being said, see you on the next one, peace.